Yo, what's good guys? It is JD here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Nomi Spent Road to Glory. And my goodness, it has happened everybody. Goat cards from last year, they back. Invincible players are here. Tim Duncan, KG and Kobe. And my goodness, are they as expensive as last year? The answer is yes. Kobe Bryant coming in right now at a steady 2.2 like, .2 million MT. KG and Timmy D at like 1.2-ish million unbelievable prices. There's also Magic, Ray Allen, and Dr. J. Not that anybody really cares about those guys right about now, so we're going to look at all of those players. I did open up some packs today. They were not good. We'll talk about that. Limited has, though, been really, really good to me. We've got our ring. We've played 10 games already on a Friday night. I know, pretty crazy. And as you can see right there, there's a Hall of Fame badge available from Limited, and I've got it. So hopefully, we can open up that Hall of Fame badge and get a new one that we can maybe put onto LeBron James, or you'll notice my MT is a little bit low. And I've got a bid on a Dark Matter Kobe. Not the new one, of course, but this one right here. Diamond Contract, Kobe 6, 47 Hall of Fame badges. Now you might be thinking, why am I buying it already with 47? What could you possibly do with that? Well, I'm going to do quite a lot. I'm looking to take this card up to 54. You know, because a Kobe right now, the Invincible one, like I say, is coming in at about 2 million MT. People can't afford that. If I give them another option and say, you know, I see you a Kobe with 60, but here's my Kobe with 54, they might be like, all right, then I'll, I'll cop that for like 800k or something. So that tentatively is a plan right now. So so much to do today, everybody. We've got some nice packs to open up as well. We've got an Inferno pack and a Radioactive pack, uh, along with the Hall of Fame badge and our daily login and an Enshrine pack as well. The token market is open again for its final time with seven new Hall of Fame badges. So... So much to do, let's go. If you are new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Daily videos and a huge thank you to the goats of the channel for their support. Eric, Jason, Cody, Spooky, Caleb, Liam, Josh, Kieran, Trevor. Let's do it. So, locker code right here. Um, obviously, Kobe being Bryant, one token. Thank you very much indeed. Limited time event. Uh, we'll talk about that when we get over to uh, Triple the Online, actually. XP still flying along quite nicely. Two and a half thousand to be halfway, and it's been one week since he came out, which is ridiculous. Um, Weston Sells got his own section of XP because. So, a thousand XP for the Amethyst. Uh, there's so much XP here. It is unbelievable. There is now in game 2,000, no, 2,000, imagine, 220,000 XP in game right now. Absolutely unbelievable. We did a few little things today. We did a couple more of the bulls. Um, I think that might have been it, to be fair. We did the weekly challenge as well. Uh, and obviously, we've done all of the win the weekend. So that was quite a lot of XP. And it got us 10 tokens as well, which I'm definitely not mad at. So over here, the weekly challenge, brilliant. 21-point game, triple threat. That's it. 21 points. That's it. One game. 21 triple threat on the line. Uh, for a free pack, you've got to win the game by 10 points, though, and you are facing up against all three of the Invincible cards. But I did it first try. It's very easy. Just don't miss any shots. You know, 7 threes, job done on pro. Make them miss a few times. Easy life, easy free pack. As for my team limited, the team I used should still be intact. And there it is. So I had Pink Diamond glitched Steve Nash. Pink Diamond Ray Allen from the Age of Heroes. Galaxy Open Mr. OG Bobby Jones. Wes sold from the Spotlights. And then David Robinson, who, my God, I despise David Robinson. This card is so bad. If I could, I would quick sell him, but I can't. So, so bad. But yeah, that, that's the five I used. And we went 10 for 10. I didn't quit out of any games today. We just won 10 games in a row, which is amazing. As you can see, I have got my limited ring. So we're now halfway to Dark Matter Elgin Baylor. Got the ring, game seven in the middle, and then game eight in the middle, we happened to get ourselves a Hall of Fame badge pack. So that was very nice indeed. Uh, Triple the Online has been updated. We've got Dark Matter Chris Bosch up top with Bailey Howe, Chris Webber Opal, Paul Pierce Opal, Middle Board, Opal, uh, Diamond Paul Pierce, Diamond CB, Diamond C Web, and then the T3 boards. Amethyst Seaweb and Sapphire Chris Bosch for, for some reason. Not that anybody would ever want to get that card. Here are the Enshrined Packs. 21% chance and a nice two rated or higher player. I opened up five uh, and, and I didn't get a shake. So I don't know about those odds, Chief. In general, not too happy about it. But you know what? It is what it is. Let's go ahead and put in the locker code before we open up some packs, see if we can get ourselves another pack to add in. It's a usual code for either tokens, uh, a badge pack, or the actual pack. And yeah, we definitely 
you know, the, the, there's the possibility. I know the chances are mm, so... Apt. I can't think of a word that's big enough to describe how small the chance is. You'd probably have better odds at winning the lottery than pulling one of these Kobe's. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, you know, you've got to have a ticket to win the lottery. So let's see if we can get ourselves a ticket in this one. So Enshrined Pack Plus. Enshrined Pack Plus. Thank you. Thank you. See, it's because I was nice. I said please. And they done rewarding me. Okay, so very nice indeed. We've got a few packs here, boys, that could be very nice indeed. So first of all, we're going to start with the double take pack, because obviously, you know, trash. Uh, so out of limited, we've got three packs. We've got this pack, the Radioactive, the Inferno, and the Hall of Fame badge pack, and the limited ring. Ah, I mean, it's a diamond. It's all right. I mean, I didn't get any shakes today, and now we get a shake out of a double take pack. I mean, I guess I'll take it. Uh, should be Hakeem, I believe. Who is that going to be? That's not Hakeem. That is going to be Carl Malone instead. Already got him. Don't know if I've got him original owner or nah. But I don't really care. And he's not going to sell for anything, is he? So we'll, we'll kind of move on from that one pretty swiftly. If we could get a shake in every pack, that'd be fantastic. Why did the shake have to be in a double take pack? Why? And one of the things to note, if we got a diamond out of the Enshrine packs, Diamond Tracy McGrady is still selling for like... 10, 15k, a diamond card is selling for more than opal cards. That is how messed up these enshrined packs are. That's how the odds just don't make any sense. A diamond card is selling for more than an opal. That just, I can't understand. I don't understand. Radioactive pack, never have any luck in these. And we continue to never have any luck in these. Um, Clem Haskins, I think we pulled in many times before. And it's never been good when we pulled him, so that's fine. Next up, two enshrined packs. One from the weekly challenge, one from the locker code. And then we've got our daily login pack of Hall of Fame difficult shots. So, locker code pack. It's loading in the Kobe. It had to take its time there because it was like, boy, this is a big player. We've got to load in. No shake in that one. Can you imagine, though? Can you imagine the scenes? Now, scene bio, pull a dark matter out of the weekly challenge pack, which we are about to open up. I've seen it happen with my own two eyes. 4K. I've seen dark matters come out of this pack right here, everybody. And we are not that guy. So that's seven enshrined packs we've opened up so far. And, uh, yep, nothing to show for it. Okie dokie. Well, let's keep on rocking and rolling, moving on. So Hall of Fame difficult shots next up, daily login pack. It's good because it's a new badge for me, and that puts me at 26 Hall of Fame badges. But it's not that good because it doesn't fit on LeBron, and it won't fit on a Kobe either. And um, speaking of Kobe, we have been outbid. 350k, somebody's gone up to. Fair play. So, just before we open up this next Hall of Fame badge, uh, this is where we're at right now, my goodness. All I want is one that I don't already have, and ideally one that can fit LeBron James or a Kobe, but I just don't want a duplicate. I just don't want one I already have. So, here are all my badges that I've got. I pretty much know them off by heart. So, let's do it, everybody. For playing Limited, I've never got a Hall of Fame badge from Limited before. Show me something good. Please, for once, for once, I don't want range. I don't want steady. I'd love a dead eye. A dead eye would go a long way. Flexible as well. Those two badges are very, very nice. But other than that, just give me something basic. Give me like a box or a worm or a cross key scorer. Something trash. I'm asking for garbage. And I've already got Lob City's finisher. You gave me garbage and garbage I already goddamn have. That sucks. That was the Lob City finisher that, uh, where's it gone? Uh, here it is. Yeah, that's the one that came from that pack with Opal Dominique. Ugh. Ugh. Ugly. That sucks. Uh, these were our pack pools earlier. I had like the first Wes Unsold up, so thankfully he sold for like 9k. A couple of Wilts and a uh, Wes Unsold again. And then we pulled another Wilt Chamberlain. So five packs, three Wilts, two Wes Unsolds. Definitely wasn't ideal, to say the least. Let's have a look at another Kobe. Is there another, another Kobe I can, uh, I can cop real quick? The standard one selling for about 300k, and this one obviously did sell for a little bit more with 47 Hall of Fame badges already. I might put another, I might put another bid on that, you know. We might go ahead and take that a little bit higher, so I can add break starter, chase down defensive leader, hot zone hunter, steady, uh, back down punisher, lob city finisher, post move lockdown, and deep hooks. I can add nine to that one, and that's got 45, so. I don't mind putting a bid on that. I don't think I do anyway. It doesn't have the Kobe shoe on it, but hopefully that's not going to be a problem. I'll put that at 350. You never know. We might 
cop that. So as for our LeBron, you know, it does kind of suck that the two Hoff badges we got given today haven't done anything to his price. Uh, if we come down here again, you know, we can still only add Hot Zone Hunter and Rim Protector. Speaking of Hot Zone Hunter and Rim Protector, let's buy some more Hall of Fame badges, shall we? The token market has updated for the final, <laughs> final time. Big sad. And they only put in badges that we've already had. Equally, big sad. So Steady Shooter back at it. I've already got two of those, so I don't need another one of those. Range Extender, already got one. Don't want any more. Handles for days, I've got one. I've got Hot Zone Hunter, I've got Quick First Step, I've got Rim, and I've got Dimer. But I want some more. So, Rim Protector. Join the scoff. We've got so many Hoff badges. This is ridiculous. Rim Protector, 50 tokens. I don't see a problem with that. You know, if I use one on a Kobe and I use one on LeBron, then both of them have gone, and that's fine. Dimer for 50, any Hall of Fame badge for 50 tokens, I'm going to take, because I don't think that's too bad. And there might be a big man in the future that comes out that needs Dimer. I doubt it, but you never know. Uh, Hot Zone Hunter, also going to take that. Again, going to use one on LeBron, so it makes sense to have another one as a backup in the future if I do need it for any other car that comes out. So, Hot Zone Hunter added in. I'm not taking quick first step, screw that. And then Handles for the Days... Uh, I mean, I've already got one. It's going to put me on 100 tokens. Holy sugar. Uh, I think somebody like a Thumb Maker. No, Thumb Maker's got handles for days. Uh, I think there's one card that doesn't. I think it might be an Anthony Davis uh, who doesn't have handles for days at, uh, at Hall of Fame level off rip. Is it him? Yeah, so you know, maybe if we take an Anthony Davis up, we, we, need a, we need a backup. So I will take a backup on handles for days as well. And that puts me under 100 tokens. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The token market has wiped me the hell out. Uh, and now that just leaves us in here with quick first step range and, and steady shooter. And I have no desire to get any of those. I can't afford it anyway. So, Hall of Fame badges now. We've got two defensive leaders. Two handles for days. Two hot zone hunters. Two steady shooters. Two show times, two rebound chasers, two diamonds, two rib protectors, two lob city finishers. I've got a problem with Hall of Fame badges, my goodness. But if we get this Kobe, we can add another nine badges that. God, that'd be sick. Uh, and I think now is the time for uh, Mr. LeBron James. Two of them. Let's do it. Hot Zone Hunter, Hall of Fame on LeBron James. Is it on? It's on. And also Rim Protector, Hall of Fame on LeBron James. James, 55 Hoff badges now, and the plan is, everybody, I'm going to be selling him on Saturday night. Saturday night, we're going to sell him, we're going to put him up for 24 hours, and he's going to sell Sunday evening or Sunday night, and hopefully, 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 he'll sell for a price that I am happy with. So that's very exciting, he is ready to go, he's kitted out, and as for Bol Bol, I think I'll probably list him up at the same time with my 41 Hoff badge one. I'm going to keep this one at 36, but I will sell my one with 41. And again, hopefully it sells for a price I'm happy with. And a price I'd be happy with is... I'd be 41 Hall of Fame badges. Still quite a lot. I guess like 125. I don't know. I'd like 150. Or like, I like more than 150, but I don't. I just don't think Bol Bol is selling for that anymore, which does kind of suck, but it is what it is. Let's talk about... Oh my god, let's talk about the cards that came out today. So, I'm going to quickly touch upon these cards. There's not really too much to say. Uh, Wilt has exactly the same card art as 2K19, if you recognise this picture. It is a 2K19 Opal Wilt. It's not a great card. Uh, Larry Bird, 72 drive and layup. Screw that. Very good at shooting, but 72 drive and layup. No, thank you. West Unselled, brilliant, brilliant Amethyst. 1,000 MT, ridiculous. 64, 64 badges? Mental. MJ's coming in. Again, pretty decent, not too shabby. Tracy McGrady, like I said, still at 10k. Hall of Fame steady, sucks, but if you're on next gen, one of the best diamond cards in the game. Shaq, another Shaq that can't shoot and isn't that fast, so not too much to say there. Scotty Pippen, not too much to say there. Uh, Hakeem, not great. Um, 81-3. It, it, it's a good card. It's going for 1,000 MT. You're kidding me. Oh, my God. Jerry West, a 6-2 point guard. So, do I really need to say any more? Not particularly. Patrick Ewing, as always, Patrick Ewing's jump shot is usually the problem. I don't know what his jump shot is like on very quick, which is what this card has, but I can't imagine it's still great. Kareem, really disappointing. Really disappointing. A 76-3 ball, 85 driving dunk. Um... It's just nowhere near as good as his other cards. It doesn't even have range off it. It doesn't even have range extender. That's an Opal. Uh, and it's obviously reflected in his price right here. It's selling for like 20k or whatever. 
And we go on to the three Dark Matter cards. So first of all, we've got Ray Allen. So I think right now for 160. Cards are so cheap, guys. Everybody in this set, if it's not an Invincible card, is in the mud. So you've got 50, well, 51 on that one. But 48 Hall of Fame badge, Ray Allen. Very good card. Dr. J as well. Similar price, 48 Hall of Fame badges. Very good card. And then Magic Johnson. Obviously the most expensive one out of the bunch. Really good like insane and it's coming in about 350k which again isn't too bad what's that kobe saying still nothing with 10 minutes to go but of course there were three other cards added into this set now the very first kg sold for 3 million mt the first kg sold for more than the first kobe they were selling for about 1.1 mil they've now risen how have they gone up? And they're now up at 1.5 mil. Well, KG here is up at 1.5 mil. He's got 61 Hall of Fame badges. I don't think anybody's sent it yet. Somebody's sent it a little bit here with 64. But nobody, as I can see yet, has got it to uh, 65 or higher. And obviously, if you do that, you're in you're in big money. But 1.5 mil, oh my god. And then Tim D as well. Also, I was selling for about 1 mil flat when he first came out. Now he's at 1.2. This dude's added two Hall of Fame badges and he's getting 1.7. And the first Tim Duncan sold for one, the first Tim Duncan sold for 1.7, and he's only come down to 1.2. That's mental. Again, I don't think anybody has sent it. There's another one with 63. I don't think there's one that's any higher than that, though. To be fair, yeah, another 63. There's one with 64, but it's only just been listed. And then Kobe, Bean, Brian. Oh my God! The first Kobe sold for 3.1 million MT. This Kobe is at 3.9 million. Now, it does have 63 Hall of Fame badges, but this one doesn't. This is a basic bitch, and it's selling for 3.2 mil. You could have bought a Kobe for 2 million MT, like, an hour and a half ago, and just sell it straight away. Look how rare he is already. There's three within half an hour. Oh, my God. 3.2, 2.7, 2 mil on 63, and I know that there is one here that's been sent, everybody. 67 Hoff badge Kobe already at 3 million MT. Now this is what I'm saying about my little my little idea. Who the hell has got 3 million MT to buy a 60 Hall of Fame badge Kobe when they could buy one that I can make with 54 and it's not going to cost them 3 million. I cannot believe how expensive that is. Oh my goodness me. It's very, very similar to what happened last year with the GOAT cards. The first auction ball GOAT card was Michael Jordan, if you guys don't remember. I actually bought Michael Jordan last year for 2.8 million MT. I was balling last year. I'm not balling this year because I just spend so much MT. We were balling last year. Uh, and he stayed at that price point for a long time. And he got rarer and rarer. And there were some days where there were none up on the auction house. And I think that's going to happen with this Kobe card as well. We're one and a half hours into him being able to be bidded on and already we're seeing a half an hour gap after this another half an hour gap here it's just unbelievable 4 million MT on Kobe the highest auction sale of all time is and look at that look at that KG I mean my god it's 5.6 mil I reckon that 67 Hall of Fame badge Kobe could be the one that breaks it now the Xbox record has already been broken the Xbox record before today was 2.1 mil pathetic uh, that's been broken like 10 times over already. So, oh, it's crazy. Oh, it's crazy. So, that's my plan, everybody. Uh, I think, you know, if I can cop a, a cop of Kobe right here, we'll see what this one goes for um, in seven minutes' time, but we will see tomorrow if we get it or not. I'm going to leave you guys wondering about that, and maybe you'll come back tomorrow and I'll have badged it out already. We'll have to wait and see. But that is going to do it for this episode. Now, tomorrow is a fun day. We're going to be live on Twitch at about 5 p.m. Uh, my time, which is about midday Eastern time. And I am going to be doing a little bit of a birthday stream. It's my birthday on Tuesday. So I'm going to have my mum on stream. I'm going to have my girlfriend on stream. Both of those are going to be opening up packs, which kind of sucks. So I've got 300k right now. I'm not going to have 300k by tomorrow, that's for sure. So it should be a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys can come through. Twitch.tv slash JD underscore crossover. Like I said, if by then we've got Kobe badged out, awesome but we will definitely be selling lebron james tomorrow so tomorrow could be selling lebron a kobe and a ball ball we could be in for a huge day sunday and i hope we are so that's gonna do it everybody hope you have enjoyed what a mad day of my team and i've loved every second as usual please like subscribe and i'll see you next time peace